I got out of bed this morning and looked around my house and thought, what the heck has happened in here? My house is a mess. So I thought you might enjoy seeing me do my house cleanup. This is what I normally do to pick up my house, particularly today because we just have stuff everywhere. Later in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why I decided to make this video. It's a funny little story, but for now, let's get to tidying up. So Randy's still in bed right now. It's eight o'clock. I've been up since 6.30, which is a typical Sunday morning. So this morning, when I came out of my bedroom at 6.30 a.m. with Pollux, this is what I saw. Dog toys in the floor, which is not really anything that unusual. I've got some mail laying on my dining room table. I guess I checked the mailbox yesterday and just laid that there for some random reason. So I rounded the corner and Randy and I went out last night to Sam's, apparently walked in the door and just set everything on the washer and dryer. I had this game out that I bought at Walmart the other weekend and we haven't played it, still wrapped up. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take that back. I'd rather get a jigsaw puzzle. Randy ordered a new pillow the other day. It arrived on Friday night and he just set the box right there. So this is what my utility room is looking like. But this area has accumulated Papers. I don't even know what this is, but papers, which drives me crazy. And then, because Randy and I did go out last night and do a little shopping for a secret project I'm working on, apparently I walked in, set the bags down, and there they are. They are still here on Sunday morning. So I gotta get all this cleaned up. I got dishes to put away. I've got dishes in the sink. Well, my goodness, who needed to go out so bad? Moo? Oh my gosh, you want to go out? Okay, okay. Pollux, you can't take Santa outside. No, 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 no. Drop Santa. Go, 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 Moo. You're the one that scratched. Go, go out there. So yesterday I did some baking. I was testing a new recipe and I took some of it to my parents. And when I got back, I walked in, put the dishes in the sink, and never even thought about it because Randy and I went out last night. Y'all, I never have dishes in my sink, ever, ever, ever. And so when I walked in here this morning and saw these dishes, I was like, uh-oh. Randy and I watched a favorite show last night and I was taking a Judy on the couch underneath all my blankets and the couch is covered in dog hair and the blankets are everywhere and Rubik's Cube braces out because we did play that the other night. It was a lot of fun and there's just just dog toys everywhere. It just looks like a mess in here. Come on with it. Come, uh oh, get your Santa. <laughs> Come on. So the first thing I like to do when I'm picking up my house is just pick up all of the things that are a mess. Put away things. I don't stay in one specific room and just work on that room. I just have to get the obvious clutter picked up. It's the clutter that drives me crazy. So here we go, because I got some clutter. Look who's up. Oh my goodness, 8.15. I think I woke him up when I went into the bathroom. You did. <laughs> I'm sorry. is actually kitchen stuff. It's a secret. Can't show you. Gonna show you in another video. I think I'm gonna put it in the pantry. all drawer. Put that in the dishwasher. Cocktail recipes. Where do I need to put this? Does this belong with cookbooks? 
for now, for the moment, it's gonna go up there with my recipe book. And our recipe that I was working on yesterday, y'all can't see it. It's gonna go up there too for the moment, so it's out of the way. All right, bollocks, don't be making more of a mess, buddy. Now the fish is out and more stuffing. Buddy, I'm trying to pick up. Pollux, you wanna show them what happened last night while you were seeping? Let's show them. So here's the bedroom. Randy just got up, so I'm gonna make the bed, open the blinds, I love when the sun comes in, clean up the doggy beds. So what did Pollux do during the night? About three o'clock this morning, I got woken up by the sounds of him like hacking and coughing. It sounded like he threw up. I woke up this morning to find this. Uh, he did throw up. So I'm gonna have to get in here and clean up dog puke. Yay for me. That's exactly what I wanna be doing today. That's gonna have to wait for just a second. I have not been up long enough to deal with vomit. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Alexa, turn the bedroom lights on 100%. Oh, so much better when my bed is made. I can think straight. Look how much we've gotten done. It's only 8.30. Okay, the bathroom should be clean. I mean, we don't keep a messy bathroom. This is where I washed my face last night. I always leave the washcloth out. Put that in the basket. Oh, and then here's the dirty clothes. <laughs> this <laughs> is the dirty clothes basket. We only do laundry once a week, and honestly, Randy does the laundry. So this is our linen closet, and you can see we have three laundry baskets. One, look at this, which is just clothes and like normal stuff. I keep one for towels and sheets, and this one is for me for delicates, things I don't want in the regular wash. So on the weekend, Randy does the main laundry, and then as needed, I do towels and delicates. We've been married 20 years, and I always used to do the laundry. Randy became very particular about the way that he wanted his clothes hung up or folded, and I would do the laundry and put his things away, and he would redo all the things that I did. And so one day I said, you do the laundry. If you don't like the way I do it, then you do it. And he said, okay. And so he has been doing the laundry ever since. But let me show you inside one of his drawers so you'll understand why he didn't like me touching his stuff. This is Randy's dresser. This is all of his stuff. And let me just give you a little sneak peek. I hope he doesn't get mad at me. But y'all look at this. All of his socks are in a little honeycomb divider, perfectly paired and rolled and put away for neat storage. This is my dresser and my socks are just thrown in there like that. <laughs> That's why he doesn't like me doing the laundry. He's so particular and so OCD about things. He does the laundry and I love it. I just stand back and let it go. So when he's all done, he will fold my things and stack them up on the arms of this chair. And so I just come in here and put it away. I don't know how our house got so out of control this weekend. Before we go to bed every night, we take out the trash. Most nights we start the dishwasher. 
and that has not happened. But all we've done this weekend, we went out to eat Friday and Saturday night. Yesterday we stayed home, Randy watched basketball, I was cooking in the kitchen all day. Um, I mean, we did nothing, but apparently we literally did nothing because we just set stuff around, nothing got picked up. Our house is very unlike us. It is very untidy. I do not like an untidy house, so that's why I am on it this morning, getting things picked up. Well, oops, it is like 10 after nine, and I got so sidetracked this morning with cleaning up the house that I forgot I've got to sit in front of my happy light. I normally like to sit in front of my happy light and be finished by nine o'clock, uh, but I forgot, so I gotta do that right now. While I'm sitting in front of my happy light for 25 minutes and it's shining in my face, this is the perfect time to tell you all the funny story of why I decided to film me cleaning up the house this morning. I was sitting on the couch with Pollux. We were all snuggled up. I was drinking my coffee and I was on my phone looking at YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. And one of my very favorite YouTubers had just posted a video. And so I thought, well, great, I'll just sit here and watch her video and drink my coffee. Do you all watch a channel called Till Vacuum Do Us Part? I love this channel. I've been watching it for years and it's all about this lady who cleans. It's cleaning motivation, cleaning tips, all kinds of fun stuff like that. She posted a morning cleaning motivation video with 10 or 11 cleaning tips, like morning cleaning tips. And so I'm watching this video and every single thing that she said and did, I was the absolute opposite of it. Like I actually started laughing because I did nothing that she said. <laughs> she said that she sleeps late. She gets up at like nine o'clock. I'm always up at 630. As soon as she wakes up, she lays in bed and she plays on her phone and she did her nails. And I'm like, get up, have coffee, get going. She always starts her day by taking a shower, putting on makeup, and getting dressed. I never do that. Unless I have somewhere to be, I'm in my pajamas or comfy clothes for a very long time. She picks up, tidies her house, does laundry, all these cleaning things when she's fully dressed and wearing her tennis shoes around the house. I know everybody has their own cleaning style, but it was just so funny. She and I are the exact opposites, and I thought it could be interesting for me to film how I go about cleaning my house and share it with you because, <laughs> because I know her channel, Till Vacuum Do Us Part, is a very popular channel. So a lot of you all might see her video. So watch her video after you've watched my video and just see that we are stark opposites. So I wanted to give you my perspective, a completely different way to go about keeping your house tidy and clean. And so I thought this is a good time to make this video. Oh, ooh, we have vomit to clean up. Thanks, Pollux. Pollux. Let's go clean up your sick under the bed. You wanna do that? Why was you sick? Did you have a belly ache, buddy? Mm, you have a belly ache during the night? You seem fine to me now, so I don't know what was going on. Oh, it's hard. Two more things on my tidying up list and then I'm gonna call it a day and I can get to doing what I want to do with my day. All clean. Everything's put away so Randy can do the laundry. Maxie. Mm -hmm. Randy and Maxie sorting the laundry. Maxie got to smell it all. <laughs> uh oh, watch out, Moo. So we got one, two, three loads of laundry today, babe. Yep. I don't understand the sorting skills. This does not make sense. But whatever, staying out of it. You do the laundry. You do you, babe. Undies and my sweatshirts. Because if I wash my sweatshirts like these with your stuff, uh -huh. you get hair in them. 
Oh, so. okay. But why is there blue and purple with khakis and light grays? Because those are lights. Okay, but blue is dark. No, blue is a light blue. Okay. Okay, I'm done. It's 1030. The house is picked up. I've had breakfast. And now I'm going to spend my day doing exactly what I want to do. Right, Mary? If you follow me on Instagram yesterday, <laughs> I posted a video of Maxie. He went outside and rolled in the mud. Two times. Maxie? What you been up to? Show everybody, come here, the side of your face. Uh-huh, were you rolling in the yard in the mud? Huh, were you? I think you were. <laughs> he has mud all over the side of his face. Beard was covered in like globs of mud. So later today, I think Maxie might be getting a bath. I don't wanna do it, he just went to the stinking groomer. He laid on the couch next to me last night and the boy stinks, so I think he's gonna have to have a bath. But now that my house is picked up and everything is tidy, I can actually think straight because I am gonna spend my day packing for a vacation. I can't wait, we leave in a couple days. I'm gonna start packing and that's gonna be a whole video in itself. So I'll see y'all later. I got beach things to do.